phalangeal joint. The proximal arm is parallel with the first metatarsal, and then the distal one with the distal with the proximal phalanx. And then so if it's going to be flexion that I'm measuring, I'll ask him to push down. Good. And then I'm going to do it passively, kind of get a number in my head. And then one more time and set the set the goniometer to it. And that one you would subtract one of these. That subtraction. No, because zero again is that straight well, from, line. From where you had that going up the leg. It was hmm? it wasn't at the goni wasn't at zero when no, you were the, the right there. Parallel. But the the zero line for flexion extension is when this isn't a straight line. So if he can go through that imaginary straight line, which he can, my measurement will be from zero to whatever number I get. He happens to sit at rest in a certain amount of extension. That's his resting position. If I wanted to get his resting position, I can take those numbers and say, oh, his resting position is five degrees of MTP extension. But his measurement, because he does get through that arbitrary zero, is going to be from zero to whatever number I get up or down, okay? Your book shows the goniometers. These ones get a little bit long because what ends up happening is the length of this, I'm hitting the top of his leg. And remember when we did the fingers and, and a few groups in particular I was around, I said you got to be on parallel with that toe, right? So having shorter goniometers becomes important here, okay? So in your book they show those cut off, okay? So, but this is the way they're showing it in your book. You're just going to take them through that procedure. And again, very important that you really have no gaps in between, okay? They gotta be gotta be parallel with each other, okay? This this one has to sit on this bone, this one has to sit on the proximal phalanx. And once I have that, then I can take my number again because he does get through zero. I'll zero to whatever the number on my goniometer is, okay? Same thing for extension, okay? From extension, they do it on top of the foot and you're going backwards, okay? All right. You can do that for all of the joints, flexion extension. The only one for abduction of the toe is this way. And you see it again. I just want to see what you um, <laughs> Two pine are sitting with the foot in zero degrees of inversion and inversion. So what you're gonna do is just again abduction adduction is that arbitrary zero line between between the metatarsal and the toe. So as long as he can cross that imaginary zero line, my number is gonna be zero to whatever number I get. Okay? You don't have to do active passive passive, do you? We can try. Actively, right? Abductor. <laughs> Holocysts, right? However, again, axis right over the metatarsal phalangeal joint. The proximal arm or stationary arm is over the first metatarsal. And then the distal, midline of the distal of the proximal phalanx. I'm saying distal, I mean proximal. Midline of the proximal phalanx. And then I can do abduction and get the number. About 15 degrees. There. No, wait. Five, 10 degrees. Sorry. Which one? Abduction. He gets past that zero. Now he sits in a bit of adduction. He's actually got some bunion growth going on there. Oh. 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 And now this foot's worse. Because you got this here, but you also got it coming out on the medial.